I always wanted to play professionally, like in female teams or anything like that, but I found out that my mechanics weren't up to par and I was basically hard stuck plat or really low diamond. So I then decided to use my advantage, which was my game knowledge and you know my statistical side, which I was always really good at even in school and kind of use that as a driving force for like finding something that I enjoyed outside of playing professionally. I'm Luciana Angel Archer Nadrag and I'm the strategic coach at Big. I have been playing since season four, but I never got into coaching until over a year and a half ago when I joined the UK team XL Esports and then I stayed with them as an analyst for two splits before I moved on to Big. I think Avinde is a lot more mature than Vermeer was, so he's more of a like a leader figure, you know, like you can laugh, you can have a joke, but at the end of the day, like when it comes to work, the players respect him. And I think that was a really big thing that Vermeer didn't have from the players. At the start, it was fine, but after, you know, they got to know him a bit better and how he worked, I feel like they lost respect and kind of lost trust in him as a coach, which is number one thing as a coach, you know, if, you, if your players don't trust you and don't trust your judgment, then why are you there for, you know? I think what I enjoy the most about this team is that we're quite open with each other. We don't really hold back criticism, you know, if we've made a mistake, we can openly make them like admit our mistake or admit other people's mistakes without us feeling attacked or judged or, you know, like we're, we're being bullied. Okay, so we are very open with each other. We're all really good friends. There's no bad blood or bad air between any of us and we can work in a in a, a good environment you know everyone is free to say what they want and criticize each other because at the end of the day you're here to improve as a team and and to win and if you aren't able to openly criticize each other then it's, it's just not going to work out i'd say that the biggest difference between online and offline events lies in the player's comfort you know when they're at home they are in their own environment, they're at their own setup, you know, they have their own monitors, their own chairs, and they're just in the comfort of their own home. You know, they can take five minutes, go outside, do whatever they need to do to calm down for the next game. Whereas in offline events, you don't really have that luxury. You're surrounded by, you know, a lot of staff, you're surrounded by the audience, you know, a lot of cheering, a lot of noise, a lot of distractions around you. And I think in between games, it's really hard to focus and to kind of regain your composure for the next game if you've lost and also there is a difference in that online events you know both me and Avinder are in team speak during the draft phase but on offline events only one one coach can go on stage so it's only his input and the players that decide the game now i've moved from an analyst point of view into a coaching point of view which is something that is very unusual. I don't think there are many other, if any other, female coaches in Europe. So the backlash has creeped in a little bit. A lot of people think, you know, oh, what player did she sleep with to get that position? Are big just doing it, you know, as a, as a PR motive, you know, just to get more fame or, and stuff like that. And I am a type of person that it kind of affects personally, but at the same time, I know that I got my position through my hard work and you know the players trust me on this you know they they know I do good work otherwise I wouldn't still be here you know so at the end of the day they're just haters like get over yourself what are you doing but um yeah you know f females shouldn't have to feel this way like it's it's not it's not something that we should feel but at the same time it is something that we can overcome and sh it should like never stop anyone from trying something just because oh they won't accept me because I'm a female. I think when I think of League of Legends the first thing I think of is like all the amazing people I have met during it. Like I started off this game casually you know playing with my friends from school you know I never thought of it going anywhere professionally like I just happened to have one good friend that was in the esports scene and I just showed interest and they helped me out but I never 
planned and I never imagined that I would actually, you know, work for a team, you know, go to all these different places for lands and for events and take it like more seriously than it's just a video game. Like for me, it's something that I love, but like above all for me, this, this is a job now. This is my part-time job.